Hello ladies and gentlemen, Paul here with a walkthrough video of iTunes 11. And I will also show you how you can get iTunes 11 looking similar to the previous version 10.7 so that it will be a little bit easier to navigate. The first thing that you'll notice in iTunes 11 is that it's a much cleaner interface than the previous versions. Now I'm going to double click on one of my albums here. One of the new features in iTunes 11 is called Up Next. In the upper right hand corner you can see the songs that will be coming in that will be playing next and you can rearrange these as you'd like and you can also clear the whole playlist as well as rate the songs and you can even add to a playlist. And there's another cool feature in Up Next is the ability to see your previously played songs just by clicking the clock logo to the left of your clear button. To easily add more songs to your Up Next, just click, drag, and drop into your Up Next logo here, and there you go. There's another drag and drop option, is to drag and drop your songs into a playlist to the right of your screen. If you're not the biggest fan of viewing all of your albums, you can just go ahead and click songs at the top of your screen. And on the left hand side, you've got your library, your music, movies, TV shows, um, and you just click through them just like normal. Got all your apps as well as all your music. Over on the right hand side is your iTunes store. And this is a much cleaner interface as you can see. Now when you plug one of your devices in, all you gotta do is just click library in the upper right hand corner and then you'll see your device plugged in right here. Go ahead and select it and you'll be presented with a much cleaner looking interface but you still have all the exact same content as before. If you're not the biggest fan of this new interface, let's go ahead and make this look like the previous version. Now in the upper left hand corner, you'll get this drop down menu and go ahead and select show menu bar. Now go ahead and select view and then you can show your status bar. You can also show the sidebar. Once you show the sidebar that looks a lot like the previous versions. So it's a lot easier to navigate. So that was my walkthrough of iTunes 11 as well as setting it up to look like previous versions for easier use. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, go ahead and pound that like button down below and slam that subscribe button above. That way you'll see new videos like this in your subscription box. I'd also like to know what you guys think about this interface. Leave the comments down below and let me know what you think about this new iTunes 11. Again, don't forget to pound that subscribe button above. That way you see new videos like this in your subscription box. Thanks for watching. This is Paul. God bless.